We got to make sure that we read with our children and check for comprehension. And to make sure that they're comprehending what they're reading, we got to make sure that we increase their vocabulary. Vocabulary is very key to the development of all of our minds. It helps us when we're reading, helps us comprehend while we're reading, helps us communicate better, helps us become better writers. So please read, check for comprehension, try to increase vocabulary. And the mind works much better when the body is being worked as well. Movement helps the mind and the brain. So please be active with your children. Promote being active with your children so they grow up knowing that this is something they need to do. That's why it's important to read with them and increase their vocabulary. Because if you continually do it, it'll be a habit that they'll take with them forever. So please enjoy this video of me and my kids and my friends' kid learning vocabulary words, using those vocabulary words, and working out. Enjoy. All right, we're here with the Smith kids and Saray. Say hi. Hi. And we're learning new vocabulary words, and then we're going to go outside and run. Yeah. All right. Um, Marcus, if you don't understand something, you're going to say what? Perplex. 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 Good. If you don't know, you're perplexed. You're you're confused, right? What's another word for hate? Um, abhor or contempt. Abhor or contempt. What's another word for big? Massive. Massive. All right. Do you remember any of the new words? What is what does perplex mean? Um, hate. No, abhor means hate. Abhor? What is what does perplex mean? What, do you remember? Yeah, it means you don't know something. Yeah, or that you are con confused. Good. So if you're confused, you don't know something, you're perplexed, okay? Okay. Say, I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed. Say, I'm confused. I'm confused. All right. I have a massive bump on my face. What does that mean, Marcus? <laughs> do you know? It's a big bump. A big bump. What's another word for massive? Um, yeah, big bump. What's another word for massive? Giant. Giant. What's another word for giant? Uh, big. Big. What's another word for big? Um, big. Bad. What's say that again? Humongous. Humongous. Good. What's another word for giant? Ooh, giant. Good one. All right, let's let's go outside and run now. Okay. Oh. We're going out here, y'all. I'm going to be like. Hey, run back. You gotta run back. All right, jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, push ups. All right, get up, get up. Now I'm aligned, you gotta get me. All right, you in charge. Move your all right, what we gotta do? Come on. Um, um, Simon says, um, Come on. do three spins. <laughs> now what, what you got? Simon says do five push-ups. What? One, two, three, four, five. Simon says follow me. No, no, don't run, you got the camera. <laughs> Are we running? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Run. Oh. Catch up with daddy. <laughs> Simon says act like a cat. Meow. Wait, I have a new I have a new word for you guys. Come on. I have a new word for you guys. What? Simon says genuflect. Genuflect? Genuflect. Genuflect. What is it? You, you're the camera woman. Yeah. Genuflect like smile, like doing a pose. <laughs> Alright, turn it up. Okay. We doing relay racing. Oh, I'm gonna wait, because I'm still gonna beat you. You're gonna lose. No. You're gonna, you're gonna be in my. You're gonna be in my wet dust. Let's see. Go. She's so slow. I got time to take a picture. <laughs> She's so slow. I beat her to the finish line. Come on. Uh-uh. Run. Run. 
That's okay. Your shoes are tied. Yeah. Push ups. Push ups. All right, good job, y'all. Let's walk it out. Walk. Walk it out. 